All right, next we have our projection vectors. So they start with u, two vectors, u and v. They're non-zero vectors, okay? Vector u, vector v, okay? They come up with the component vectors of u. w sub 1 and w sub 2 are the vector components of vector u such that w sub 1 is parallel to v. Okay, so parallel means it doesn't, doesn't necessarily have to be in the same direction, okay? Parallel can be opposite directions, but these are my component vectors of u, and w sub 1 is parallel to v. So w sub 1 plus w sub 2 is equal to vector u. Again, parallel does not mean same direction. They can go in opposite directions. So if that's what you're given, that's what you find, this w sub 1, this vector, is called the vector projection of u onto v. And it's denoted with this, the projection of u onto v. v is a subscript. And this is how you find the projection of u on, onto v. Okay, You take the dot product of u and v, and you divide by the magnitude of v squared, and then that's going to be a scalar, and you multiply that times vector v, okay? So lots of work. Again, to find the projection of u onto v, you take the dot product of u and v, you take the magnitude of v squared, and then you multiply that times vector v. So, example four, find the projection of u, three, two, onto v, five, negative five, and then write u as the sum of two orthogonal vectors, one of which is the projection of u onto v. So what we're doing is we are finding this vector, and then we are writing u as the sum of these two vectors. So once you find this one, you can take u minus this one to get this one, okay? So the projection of u onto v, On top, we take their dot product. So I have 3 times 5 plus 2 times negative 5. And now, unlike the angle in between them, I only need the magnitude of v. So it's the square root of a squared plus b squared and then squared. So the nice thing about this is this is going to be the square root of 5 squared plus negative 5 squared, but then it's going to be squared. So this squared and squared always cancel. So the nice thing about this is we end up with 25 plus 25 or 50. So you end up with just plain old 50. Now, different from the angle in between, I now need to multiply this times my vector v. So when I find this, I have to multiply this times this vector. So I have 15 plus a negative 10 over, and again, 25 plus 25 is 50, and those cancel. So on top, I have 5 over 50. You can reduce the fraction first and then multiply, or you can multiply and then reduce. Bottom line is this reduces to one-tenth, and if I take one-tenth times both of those, one-tenth times five is one-half, and then one-tenth times negative five is a negative one-half. So this is my projection, or this is my w sub one. So 
So that's the first thing that we want to define is my projection. Then it says to write u as the sum of two orthogonal vectors, one of which is the projection. So u is equal to, I'm going to write it this way first, w sub 1 plus w sub 2. So if u is equal to 3, 2, and w sub 1 is equal to 1 half, negative 1 half, in order to find this vector, all I have to do is subtract. I'm going to subtract 3 minus 1 half, and I'm going to subtract 2 minus a negative 1 half, or plus 1 half, and get 2 and a half. So then my answer is going to be this equals 1 half, negative 1 half, plus this would be a 2 and a half, or 2.5, and then this would also be 2.5. And what they want you to write here is they want you to write u. They don't actually want you to write the. That's what they want you to write. So example five, same process, okay? Find the projection of u onto V, and then write U as the sum of two orthogonal vectors, one of which is the projection of U onto V. So, projection of U onto V. On top, I'm going to find their dot product. So I have 4 times 2 plus negative 3 times 6. On the bottom, I'm going to have their magnitude of V, so 2 squared plus 6 squared, squared, and then that's going to get multiplied times V, which is 2, 6. So 8 plus a negative 18 over 4 plus 36 is 40, square root of 40 squared is 40. 8 and negative 18 is negative 10. And so this is equivalent to a negative 1 fourth. So I'm going to multiply that times both of those. And I get a negative 1 half and a negative 3 halves. So this is my W sub 1 or my